third day. This is the third day of the week of making. And on Tested, we are featuring a new maker every single day, talking about different aspects of making. And today's maker essay is by... Hi, my name is Mel. I'm a computer engineering student, um, aspiring roboticist, maker, and I'm here with Tested. Um, so I like to make all kinds of stuff. Uh, I really like working with electronics. Um, co I like to code. I also like working with wood and metal. But I would have to say my making roots probably stemmed actually from computers. Um, and that's all partly due to this one movie called Hackers. As a kid, I watched that movie and it sort of blew my mind. And at the time, my best friend, which was a computer, had to then suddenly become the most futuristic sci-fi machine known to man. And uh, so I did all kinds of stuff with it. I modified the hardware. I messed around with some scripting, wrote like a couple things for it. And then eventually in high school, I found other people who were equally as enthusiastic about the cyberpunk future as well as um, worked with computers. So we, all we did was geek out, hang out, and watch a bunch of movies like Akira, Blade Runner, or Ghost in the Shell, and then just sort of fantasize about the future. Um, eventually those fantasies start to incorporate building projects and like making things that might be cyberpunk future. And so um, we did things like uh, we got this one boombox from like the 80s off of like Craigslist and then modified it to turn it into the coolest boombox backpack where you had a cassette converter and plugged it into your mp3 player and it would blast all kinds of cutting edge music or things like um, when the clipper cards first came out, we decided, hey, let's like melt that down with uh, acetone and then put it into a glove and just tap onto the buses and sort of do the future that way as well. Um, <laughs> and, you know, although they were, you know, I think looking back, they're a bit silly. It was very inspiring for me. I thought, wow, this is if I could do this, I could do anything. And so um, I decided after high school to just kind of continue making. And so I was like, why don't I just go straight into the workforce? And I did. I did. It was, uh, I did IT for a little bit and then afterwards I found myself working at a bunch of maker spaces and when I got into making in maker spaces it got pretty real. Um, <laughs> I learned all kinds of tools. Suddenly it, instead of it just being a soldering iron and a Dremel drill, it suddenly turned into a milling machine or um, a bunch of 3D printers or woodworking tools. Um, basically all kinds of stuff. Laser cutting, sewing and I met a lot of really inspiring, diverse, and in interesting people. Like, they all came from different backgrounds, they all had different stories, and they all were really passionate, and that's why they were there, deciding, hey, you know, maybe I, did I, did, I was a lawyer for 10 years, but now I'm gonna do this now, because I like this, I like building things, I like making things with my hands. And that was also another thing that was really exciting, was the fact that it was very hands-on working in maker spaces and building things. You just, instead of it just reading about it in a book or, um, you know, writing a report about it, you were doing it and you were, I don't know, for me, I was really bad at it initially. And, and then I eventually got better and <laughs> I stopped singeing my hair and it just became a lot more, I don't know, it just, it drove you. And the, I would just wake up being like, all right, I'm gonna make stuff and I hope it works, you know, like stuff like that. Eventually though, even, even in a makerspace, I started to hit my, um, I started to hit my wall. Um, in terms of design, and it was mostly from my technical skills. It wasn't up to par since I just left high school. Um, so I decided to go back to school for a bit and, you know, just to try it out. Uh, who'd have thought, but geometry is kind of really important projects. And so I was like, well, I'll just take one math class and just see where I have, you know, I'd go with it. And then eventually math just blew my mind. It was like crazy and amazing and it sort of enriched the projects that I would work on because it started to, like, more things, like, more doors would open, things would just start to connect in my head about what was going on in the background. Same thing goes for things like physics and science. It just, you, every new subject I learned, it was like adding another level of complexity to what I was working on. And I really appreciated that. And that's why I'm kind of continuing on my educational track. I'm going to try to get in to um, some colleges soon and hopefully build the robots, you know? And it's exciting, and I'm really looking forward to that. Um, I would have to say, um, you know, from all my past experiences, I would have to say that passion was the thing that really drove me into, like, making and building things. Uh, I felt like, um, well, 
you know, especially when I, when I first had the inklings of building stuff, I just didn't have resources. Like I, I didn't have money. Um, my parents were not really about me getting my hands dirty or taking out a whole saw and just going crazy in the garage, you know. Um, there was a lot of barriers, I felt like, to getting access to information or for, you know, to materials, to tools even. And the passion is what drove me to do all these kind of sort of innovative things like grabbing some of my friends, making friends, um, you know, uh, going to Craigslist, going to dumpster diving finding other people that might be equally as interested, being like, hello, I like this thing, I'm an enthusiast, are you an enthusiast, are you a hobbyist? And, and eventually you just start to make a lot of, meet a lot of other passionate people that help continue to drive. It's like you're inspiring them, they're inspiring you, and you just keep on making. And uh, I can't help but say like, that's like why I make, you know? Um, yeah, well, that's, uh, that's pretty much my story and I, Hope you have a great National Makers Week, indeed. <laughs>